Pacific Ring of Fire awakens. Underwater volcano erupts off Oregon coast. Kalauea in Hawaii explodes in violent lava surge. In a rare and alarming double eruption event, two separate volcanoes along the Pacific Ring of Fire roar to life today. One erupting from the seafloor off the Oregon coast, and the other erupting violently from deep within the crater of Kalauea, Hawaii's most notorious volcano. The sudden geological chaos has triggered widespread concern among scientists, emergency officials, and coastal residents as fears of a potential domino effect ripple across the Pacific region. Terror at sea. Underwater volcano detonates off Oregon coast. Just before sunrise at 6.43 a.m., Pacific time, a series of deep tremors were recorded by the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center and underwater seismic monitors stationed along the Juan de Fuca Ridge, a known tectonic hotspot where the EU Pacific and North American plates collide. Moments later, the Axial Seamount, a massive underwater volcano sitting over a mile beneath the ocean's surface, erupted violently, sending a superheated plume of steam, ash, volcanic gases, and fragmented magma through the water column. The explosion registered as a magnitude 5.9 seismic event, but the effects were far from silent. Fishermen and cargo ships navigating near the eruption zone reported the ocean boiling violently, with turbulent water surging upward in a spectacle that witnesses described as both terrifying and awe-inspiring. We saw the water lifting and turning dark, said Captain Lisa Bernard, who was fishing off Port Orford. It felt like something ancient woke up beneath us. The sea hissed, and the horizon shook. We had to flee. Although no direct land eruption occurred, the explosive release of thermal energy displaced significant ocean volume, triggering a localized tsunami warning along the southern Oregon coast. Within the hour, three-foot-high abnormal waves crashed onto the beaches of Gold Beach, Brookings, and Bandon, flooding low-lying boardwalks and damaging boats anchored in shallow waters. Sirens blared as residents were evacuated inland. There were reports of panic in coastal communities as rumors of a larger tsunami spread on social media. Oceanographers and volcanologists from the NOAA and USGS rushed to respond. According to Dr. Annika Trenton, lead marine geologist at the University of Oregon, this eruption is the most powerful submarine event in the region since the late 1990s. While the eruption did not breach the surface, the seismic energy and hydrothermal output suggest a significant change in pressure dynamics along the Cascadia subduction zone. A fault line capable of producing one of the most devastating earthquakes and tsunamis in North American history. Inferno in the Pacific. Kalauea erupts with ferocious force. As scientists scramble to analyze the Oregon seafloor eruption, Kalauea Volcano on Hawaii's Big Island erupted just hours later at 10.12 a.m. HST sending lava fountains over 100 feet high into the sky 
and filling the Halema Uma'u crater with a fresh, violently surging lava lake. Residents in Volcano Village and park rangers inside Hawaii Volcanoes National Park were caught off guard by the intensity of the eruption. Overnight, a cluster of deep quakes had been noted beneath the volcano, typically a sign of magma intrusion. But no one expected such a rapid and explosive event. The ground shook like a truck hit the house, said Mele Kanoa, a resident, who lives three miles from the crater. Then we saw a red glow in the sky. The eruption came with a roar. Within minutes, molten lava burst from fissures along the crater's edge and began cascading down into the basin. Volcanic gas emissions skyrocketed, with sulfur dioxide levels reaching hazardous concentrations in the park and surrounding towns. A massive volcanic smog, Vog Cloud, drifted toward Hilo and Pahoa reducing visibility and causing respiratory distress for sensitive individuals. Dramatic images released by satellite and drones show a vast pool of lava churning violently, splashing against the crater walls as geysers of molten rock shoot skyward. The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, HVO, elevated the volcano alert level to red, citing explosive activity, ongoing magma intrusion, and the potential for new fissures to open without warning. This is not a gentle lava flow, warned Dr. Leilani Akamu, HVO's chief volcanologist. We're dealing with high temperature, high gas lava under tremendous pressure. The eruption style is extremely volatile, and the crater floor could collapse further if activity intensifies. The eruption has forced the closure of several highways and all public access to the summit. Tourists were evacuated, and helicopters were scrambled to monitor lava movement in real time. A troubling pattern. Scientists debate a possible link. Though separated by thousands of miles, the nearly simultaneous eruptions have raised alarm among Earth scientists. Both volcanic systems lie along the Pacific Plate, 